what do you think went wrong in regards to your career and maybe just the whole entire Rough Rider situation? Because it definitely there could have been worse situations for you to be a part of at, at that time. Because at that time, that was the that brand was scorching. Yeah, I mean, you know, like what like what hurt me was that I never really had like a manager that was like fully behind me. You find what I'm trying to say? Like I always shared with DMX. You find what I'm trying to say? DMX was like a real protector for me. So. I mean, you know, I mean, like his management, I had that management. Uh, his movie agents, I had those movie agents. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, I never really had, like... Your own people. I'm going hard for drag. Right. Just drag, you know what I'm saying? I never had a movie agent that was like, okay, I'm going hard for just drag. You know what I'm trying to say? Me, I auditioned for those parts because X put a good word in for me. Like, yo, I'm not going to shoot this X phone unless you use drag on. That's my brother. He looked like me. That's my homie. It makes sense. The vibe is there. Let's go. And that's how I got that. Right. I and excellent ones. Audition, but, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, that's how I got in that movie. Yeah. And then it led to another movie and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But the reason why that stopped is because uh, let me know, once something happened with him, as far as with Hollywood, shit all the you, time. It's out. Yeah. They, I, had they, the, yes. I had the same agent. Right. So it wasn't like it was somebody else that could be like, okay, well, drag is... Also, those agents, those managers, obviously DMX is going to be their priority because at the time he's probably bringing in so much money. You know what I mean? What he sold? What he sold? Thirty over, probably over thirty million records just in by itself. I don't know. It's crazy. I mean, and look, you did have a lot of people who we see come out of crews that are, you know, are big like that. Don't get the chance to put out two albums. We see a lot of like people who are get signed. Like, think about the, all the artists on Rough Riders that never even dropped an album. There was a lot. 